hello everyone um and welcome back to another week i look like morph um purely because i had to make time for something special that happened um yesterday which i will update you on at later today maybe basically i'm sat by my front door because i've just dragged in a whole load of shopping so now i'm on maternity leave i just got paid actually so it was payday but payday maternity leave is bad because it means that i run out to the shop straight away um i'm back to looking like an utter troll so sorry so i've got a little haul i went to b&m and pound stretcher i actually kind of only wanted to go for one lot of things which i'll show you in a second but I thought I got them in B&M, turns out I got them in Pound Stretcher, but while I was in B&M I had to have a browse. So I really can't get over this patchy fake tan. I'm going to scrub it off. It went a little bit wrong, but it worked well for yesterday. So the first thing I got was this bathroom storage unit. I think it's really cute. A little wide unit. It's quite slim. Just to go down the side of our toilet, it was twelve ninety nine. Um which I don't think it was too bad. You can probably find it online a bit cheaper, but... You know, I was there, I instantly have it. We don't have a huge bathroom and we don't have a huge like amount of storage in the bathroom. And I don't like having all of this like this cleaning stuff on um show and all that. Also, I only keep like the toilet rolls. We have a toilet roll and then three a space for three in the holder. Just looking at it. I don't really like the holder we've got, but it was free, so that's what we're using for now. But yeah, excuse me. I only have the toilet roll in the holder um worth the toilet roll in there but you know sometimes you just don't refill it and then you get caught out because you haven't refilled it and you really need some toilet roll with this you can hold a couple of extras in so i just feel like they could be the backups um along with my sprays and stuff just thought it would neaten up the bathroom a little bit this i got from b&m as well 7.99 it's a shoe rack i don't actually want to have this on show i've got a cupboard just here which you can't see um it's kind of a small cupboard but i think the dimensions of this i should be able to put it in there if not i'm going to use this in um the baby's room in her cupboard for storage of little boxes and stuff so it will come in handy whatever but i'm hoping i can use it for the shoes because we have a lot of shoes down here is actually you can't even see the worst of it but yesterday i really need to find a pair of shoes so i kind of threw everything everywhere there's shoes and coats here because it's the one area of the house that I just haven't been motivated to sort out since we moved in because the I need to get like a storage thing. I might get the Ikea one and put it here and then I need to sort out the cupboard and I just haven't done it because it's stressing me out. So that's that. Um, and then from um, a little pound stretcher I got this because it was 2 99 and it's just a bit of under bed storage um but it's got little sections so you could put extra shoes in here you could put clothes and bits just random stuff that we have in the bedroom that i just need to put away i just thought this would be perfect for and i love a storage solution and then uh, the main event which i went out for actually i'll show you this first i got a spray bottle for 69p these come in handy i've actually got a couple um i we've got one that we use for plants this one um i don't know if i'm going to use it for like a lenore spray for the beds and stuff at some point or if i'm going to use it for um making up i kind of want to start i want to run down my um cleaning supplies and then i want to start using more natural products so i just buy these as and when i see them um this was 69p also for the time being they're actually perfect for having in the living room just filled with water because it's been really really hot and it's been keeping me and my lover cool just having a little spray bottle next to us um to spray on us and then have the fan you know blow and keep it cool so i got this whole big stack of things here because i'm nesting the nesting is real um i've only got like a week until the baby's due date i think no tomorrow will be a week until the baby's due date um so and i'm starting to feel like the crampiness and just i feel like she's moved down and it's panicking me because the house is a mess at the moment and i really want everything to be organized so that i don't have to do anything when the baby's born so i've started organizing cupboards i've got a couple more cupboards that i want to sort out one of them being in the kitchen so i bought these were 79p each so i got one two three four five of these for 79p because I have a stationary cupboard that I want to just sort, basically. 
Um, and then I've got four of these medium sized ones, two white and two black, because they're all going in cupboards, so I'm not really that bothered what colours they are. And they were 139 each instead of 149. And then the bottom ones, big ones, there's four of those as well, and they are 189 each. And I just thought I'd rather have a few too many for now because we've got a garage, so I can just chuck some in the garage until we need them. Um, and I just want to sort out kitchen cupboards. Uh, the stationery cupboard and then like a few little extra baskets in maybe one in this cupboard that you can't see that has the shoes in for for extra bits then I bought an over the door uh, organizer these are perfect for like kitchen doors um, we we shut our kitchen door quite often so I'm a bit hesitant to put this one on there because I don't want it to ugly up the kitchen really but it is really good for storage um, they're good for uh, doors like your bedroom doors and pointing at my bedroom as if you can see it bathroom doors also the shoe cupboard that i need to sort out if i can't use the rack or whatever i think this might fit over the door there so i just bought it because it was 2.99 and again i'll find a use for it they're just really really perfect again i'm going mad on the storage um then i bought some cheerios because they're a big pack and they're on offer um, i keep trying to get away from cereal but right now so I've got loads of porridge that I should be eating. Right now I just bought these for when I'm in a rush and I need some breakfast quickly because if I wake up, I'm hungry and I take my, my other half to work, but I need to eat something quickly on the go. So I just have these, I just threw that in my face. I just have these for that reason, to be honest. Then I got, I was talking about this with my mum-in-law um, the other day about serving trays and how they just come in handy for everything. She was like, yeah, anytime I ever see them, I pick them up. So from B&M, I got this one, which is a slightly wider one. And then another one of these like, long ones. I've got a few of these. Um, it's just got little bunnies on it. And this one is just a nice corally colour. We use these all the time for dinners and stuff or when we have to be round. They're just perfect. And they just make your food look great. Um, so they're really good for an Instagram post. Um... Then I got this because it was on offer for a pound. It just says my first bounce back egg. I have no idea if it's just a rattle or what, but I thought I'm going to put this in the baby's stocking for Christmas. And then on the note of going slightly more natural with cleaning products, I found this bicarb cream. And it, to me, it's a bit like um, like the SIF cleaner, cream cleaner, or not quite the pink stuff, um, but like on the same lines if you're wanting to clean and shine stuff. This stuff made my... Um, stainless steel sink so shiny um, and it's just bicarb cream so 90p each i've got two bottles of it um i actually have loads of bicarb it's one of those staple things that i think you need for cleaning bicarb vinegar and lemon are staples but this bicarb cream um you can recycle the bottle so it's fine um and i don't feel so guilty for buying it it's not full of chemicals i want to stray away from chemicals because i'm gonna have a baby soon i don't want a load of chemicals in the house to be honest and I got some double dip lollies because obviously and then I got this because it was on offer for £1.50 and it's just a fake orchid with a bit of hair on it needs a bit of dusting but I thought it was really cute um, I was thinking about putting it out here when we get a little table or something um, we're also getting a dining table so I wanted a few things to jazz that up but yeah um, then I got this for £2.99 um, Again, just a bit of decorative something for somewhere in the house. I didn't want to not pick it up because what if it's not there next time? See, so yeah, I have no, I don't, I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. Then I got a hanging dehumidifier. Um, I just really like these. I know they're probably again wasteful, but I really do like these um, to put in the cupboard. They do just really keep the moisture out of your clothes, so you don't get that weird, horrible smell after time. And then I got some. Nights because these are mine and Shan's favourites and every time I go to B&M I pick them up because we like to have a stockpile of them. Um, and then I got the Addis um, glass and window cleaners. I just like these microfiber cloths. I'm trying not to buy too many more cloths but um, these sorts of things you can reuse so I just chuck them in a wash together like a delicate wash and then they're fine again afterwards and then i got the kitchen one as well because this one is the best for buffing everything um so yeah i just got those they're 169 each and i and i use them and you can reuse them so that's good 
Then I got some multifunctional two-way over the door hooks because again these come in handy for everything. They're $1.99, there's six of them. They have different widths for different types of doors. So like you could do your kitchen cupboards or actual normal door. Um, I was thinking about putting some of these in the bathroom to hang up towels when we're done with them. Out of the way. Then I got the Astonish Premium Edition. I really wanted to try something from this range. I really like Astonish. Of all products, they, I know they still have chemicals in them, but they are vegan, cruelty free, and they just, I think I'm pretty certain you can recycle all of this. And I just feel like there are certain things that you do kind of need. There are certain things that I don't even know if I can say you do need them, because I can imagine you could probably clean everything in your house with bicarbonate vinegar but there are certain parts of the house where it's nice to have an actual cleaning product and this is the oven power spray um so it's good for like burnt on food and grease and i just wanted to try something from their premium range because i've heard amazing stuff about it so yeah it was 1.99 um two more spray bottles these are technically the hair ones but i mean okay um <laughs> these I've they're a pound each I actually thought these would be good for like room spray as well like you could put a bit of essential oil in here and just spray the room a bit um I got these probably a bit of a gimmick but they're just um vacuum fresheners you can use Lenore sheets or whatever or any tumble dry sheets but I just thought um I'd give them a go because my vacuum cleaner does not smell nice at the moment then I got the Astonish Cup Clean because everyone raves about this. And again, I, I'm happy to buy from the Astonish brand if I'm going to buy chemical products because I really like the brand. And the last thing I bought was um, this. And again, it's a vegan thing. It's basically Zaflora, but cheaper. Um, and again, if I'm going to have a couple of products, I'll probably keep something like this in the house because you can seriously dilute it. Um, and so it's not really as wasteful as buying loads of spray cleaners. So yeah, and it's in tranquil haze. So that is everything I got from my shop. I need to go and sort of put this all away and hide it before my other half gets home for lunch because it'll probably kill me because did I need much of this? Probably not. So I've put together the um, little storage unit, which I think looks really quite cute in here. Ignoring that, that looks ugly and the sprays. I think I'm going to put the sprays in the box, potentially. And that we actually just put here um, as a test to see how damp, how much damp it would pick up in the bathroom of all places, because our old flat had loads of damp. It doesn't really pick up much. So, yeah. But in here, I've literally, I changed my mind about the toilet rolls. I figured we'd just have to keep on top of it. <laughs> I've put all of my cleaning stuff that I use regularly in here. Um, I might take the beach out for now. It's just about to be finished anyway, so I might just put it down the toilet and finish it. I've been using this instead. Um, Anti-back toilet cleaner, um, eco-friendly version from Wilco. It's really good. And it's just not as harsh as using bleach. Anyway, so it's all very blue in there, isn't it? Um, so I think I might put the glades in there too, because it just looks a bit less ugly. But yeah, I really like yeah, he's stylish and it just keeps everything out of the way and then I'm going to turn this light on in this cupboard really bad lighting I've put the shoe storage it's not massive but it's kind of exactly what I wanted really it's kind of flimsy but that's what you'd expect for the price I paid um, and it's actually a six tier thing but I've only put five because all the coats come up to about here so it's pointless to be honest putting the rest of it up so yeah, I think I'm going to fill my shoes and coats in here. Um, and then up here needs to be sorted at some point. But this cupboard I just kind of hate. So, I need to do something with it. Hello, everyone. Um, I think you've probably seen me in just this outfit in all of the last videos. Kind of coincidence, kind of not. Because this is basically all that fits me and all that I want to wear at this point. Um, it's currently Friday the 30th of August. So this baby's due in six days. Um, I, I'm really starting to feel it. Um, I think the last thing I filmed for you was on, oh, was on Wednesday when I ended some shopping to get some bits for organising. I did in fact organise this cupboard here, um, but I can't show you because there's a box down here from the dining table that we ordered that I've built. Um, oh, me and my uh, me and Shan built. Can just let me do it on my own. Um, which is only a small one, I'm sat at it now, like, 
like a little t little dinky chairs. Um, it's a small table, but that's kind of what we wanted because we didn't want to have this whole lovely space here filled up with a table. We wanted to be able to have like running around space for the kids and stuff. So um, yeah, we've got a table in here, which is super cool. Um, what was I gonna say? I'm so beyond tired. I can't even explain to you. Okay, so I wanted to, to it's really annoying, isn't it? Because these have reflections in it, but this is disgusting. I wanted to come on here and talk to you about something that happened that's super big and this might be an indication. So I've been engaged for five years, a long, like quite a long time. Um, we're about to have a baby. Uh, we live together. We may as well be a married couple. And now officially we are a married couple. Um, we, myself and Sharon went and got married on Tuesday the 27th of August. Um, I'll insert like a little picture, I think it's really cute. It's just me and him and two witnesses, which is exactly how I wanted it. I didn't ever want to do a big wedding. Um, I want to do a big party next year, like on the anniversary of when we got married to celebrate with all of, of our family and stuff because obviously we have family and friends that we care about that we want to be involved but I never wanted to spend tens of thousands of pounds on getting married so this is what put me off for so long the fear of like offending people and upsetting people and we just thought why not do it before the baby's born that means we'll all have the same name um it just makes us feel and I, I don't judge whether you have a baby and you're married or not I, I don't it doesn't I don't care as long as the baby's happy right and, and you're happy and that's what's important in those situations but I did think like doesn't it feel like a proper little family now that it's she's got our name and well I've got the bet the name that the baby will have surname wise and yeah so we went and got married um there's much more to say on the matter apart from that but there's that if you could, if we couldn't do much more we've moved house this year in the last two months, we've got married and we're gonna have a baby soon. So, yeah, um, I really wanna reorganize bits of the house today. I'm really getting the fear. So two people who had babies due around the same time as me have given birth to their babies. Um, one of them had to have a C-section earlier, uh, slightly earlier on because of um, like a few complications and stuff, but both mum and baby are fine, which is fab news. Um, but that was why they came a bit early. The other one just was a spontaneous baby that came a little bit early. Um, so it really made me think, this baby could come at any time. Last night I felt terrible. I had the worst acid reflux. I like felt like I was gonna be sick. Um, my pelvis, I've been really lucky in that my pelvis has had like a few bouts of being sore but nothing like on the level of last night, like I could barely open or close my, like, my legs like when, move, when rolling over and stuff. And when I tried to get off the sofa, it was agony and then I couldn't really walk by the end of last night. And I didn't overdo it yesterday. I saw, I organized this cupboard, but a lot of that was just sitting on the floor. Um, and we put a table together, but again, that was just sitting on the floor and I was really just annoying Sham while he was building it. Um, so yeah, this house is disgusting. So because we've, had like we got married um i've been out to the shops a few times and i've just had to sleep because i'm just really tired now at this point in pregnancy um and i'm really like <sighs> i want my house to be perfect but equally i need to be rested because it won't be long till the baby gets here and i may as well enjoy the sleep while i can get it like for a while i wasn't getting good sleep and i'm still not getting great sleep because i have to get up to pee all the time but like i go into like coma deep sleep so yeah um so i want my house to be perfect but the main thing i needed to be is tidy and clean feeling so that when we come home from the hospital she's not actually going to care as a newborn baby but i would hate to come home looking at it as it is now so i'm gonna Go and sit down. I woke up this morning and had the worst, what felt like period cramps, um, on one side near my back. It was really sore, and they came and went a few times. And I imagine that's what the beginning of uh, contractions felt like. And I so I said to Shan before I dropped into work, like, "Don't be surprised if I call you later. Like, this has got worse, but I feel a little bit better now. Um, I'm going to eat, and I'm just going to sit down for a bit and just wake myself up slowly, and then I'm going to get a wee tidy."
Okay, so it's a bit later on in the day, and ignore all this behind me. Disaster room one is done, so nice and clean in here. Um, that mirror needs to be put up along with those two pictures they're going to go up here um but yeah that's my little baby caddy which is actually going to be on this side of the room because obviously we're not going to put the baby next to the radiator so yeah all nice and tidy no mess down here i don't really know why we keep the fire extinguisher in here of all places probably should go in the kitchen but yeah it feels nice to know that at least when I go to bed tonight, it smells nice in here, it feels nice in here. Um, this is my little sanctuary as well, when I'm not feeling great, I just come into the bedroom and have a little nap or whatever. But, I do still not have the rest of the house to do. I think my next disaster zone, oh, I don't want to show you really, but I will, is this kitchen, there's washing that needs to go away, some... some other rubbish flowers which I don't think are going to survive so I have to get rid of them and just it's just messy it's just shopping like this shopping stuff isn't perishables it's just um like cleaning bits that I've bought but I need to put them away so yeah I think that'll be my next disaster zone but first of all I'm getting really bad um cramps today like I just feel really crampy which is why I'm so panicked about making the house nice because baby could literally come at any time we're five days away from the due date um so you know she could make her entrance at any point but um yeah we're feeling really crampy so I think I'm gonna have a bath and yours this I love this stuff as you can see I've used loads of it um it's the imperial leather uh, relaxing orchid in your line your line um so I'm just gonna Oh, put that down there. Yeah, I'm gonna not stress too much. I just said to, I just had lunch with Shan and I was sort of having a moment about trying to get everything done. And he was just like, just, you know, do it at your own pace. So I'm gonna um, have a bath, like have a, like a half an hour long, just soak, probably wash my hair. I've got some tan that is still left over from getting married um, that I wanna take off of me. And so, yeah, and then I'll just move on to like the rest of the messy house, which you can probably see behind me. Um, I need to get rid of like this box. So we built this table yesterday, which this has a collection of like mess that needs to go into different cupboards that I bought out from the bedroom. It's kind of like when you start deep cleaning, you can make more mess to tidy up, right? So I'm in that process and it stresses me out, but I'm literally just going to do one room at a time and just take it slowly. So, but first for a bath. So I'm out of the shower and I feel so much better. I like I just feel more rested and relaxed and stuff. So um, I'm just put on my uh, glamorous 90 because so I'm just being nosy at the neighbours because um, I just want to keep cleaning, but I want to be in something quite light and floaty, and then. When I go and pick Shan up later, I'll obviously put clothes on because I'm pretty certain he doesn't want me to turn up like this to his work. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to go and clean. Oh, I'm going to go and clean the kitchen, I think, as I said to you. And I will show you once I've made a bit more progress. This tan is still on and still kind of patchy, but I did do a lot of scrubbing to get most of it off. So I think one more round of scrubbing and I'll be good. I'm back to being pale which is fab okay so after the last i look disgusting i'm so sorry the last um clip where i was like oh i feel so much better i've had a bath and all that and i did feel better i did a bit more tidy over and then i just went to sleep and i'm just gonna call it quits on this vlog um i promise when the baby's born my vlogs are gonna be good quality it's just it is a struggle. I'm so uncomfortable. I think labour is hopefully imminent. I really, really hope so. I'm so done with being pregnant. I've got five days to go into our due date. Um, but I'm so uncomfortable in my back. Um, my stomach keeps getting like hard and then not being so hard. And I just want her to come 
like tomorrow that'd be perfect we're all ready to go minus the house needs a bit more sorting but i mean really she's not going to care let's be honest um i've got like a load of videos i need to film so like a video to upload when we go into labor i want to do my last pregnancy update because it'd just be nice to have um and a few other bits that i want to do before the baby comes so i think i'm gonna have a sleep and then i'm gonna put some makeup on and do the filming today i've got a couple of videos that ow, i've already filmed i wanted to do like a what i eat in a day third trimester and also a clean with me in the third trimester but and um, the nesting oh i'm so sorry there's a lot of boob there the nesting thing is real and very intense i've done loads of like baking and stuff to try and use up the last of the food that's in the house before we end up having to go to the hospital and like just trying to keep it all minimal just in case we're there for a couple of days we don't want to waste food and also it'd be nice to have a few bits ready to eat when we get back um but obviously it could still be a couple of weeks until she's here so yeah i just can't wait so um hopefully the next like vlog and stuff you see will be with the baby don't know probably because by the time i filmed edited and uploaded all the other videos it will probably make sense that the next one you see is with the baby so keep an eye out for those if you want to see oh decent quality film then that's what you want to watch out for um i hope you enjoyed anyway watching the struggles of this life um we're going to make some massive changes as well once the baby's here i think we're going to try and do a bit of a vegan journey healthy living I'm trying to bounce back from this chunky saurus rex that i am at the minute and so i'm going to film all that so if you're interested in anything like that then keep watching obviously um but yeah i'm gonna have a sleep then i'm gonna edit these videos get them uploaded and then probably sleep some more and hope that i go into labor um oh i really wanted to do a like inducing my labor video so i might look into doing that as well Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll speak to you all in my next video. Bye!